And those kinds of stakes make for the best games. Jason, you're doing a great job today, man. Thank you. And I like your outfit, all in green. Yeah, I really went, I went, I felt green this morning when I woke up. I felt blue. Here's Floppy over in Donut. Oh, they managed to get past him all the way into the red room. And Halzerk might have given chase. But he won't get there too late, and so right now, Big are in B. Yeah, but you lose control of the middle of the map, and this just starts to feel really awkward. Rigon holding off on the rotations, adds another kill. Duelies can't land another frag. Halzerk just trying to stay alive while getting one more kill to even things up for Floppy, who's got one and now two remaining. And that don't last long. Don't last long at all. And then his, in his Norwegian accent, he said, it's really hot today. <laughs> now you go, cheers, man. Yeah, thanks for that. I appreciate it. Ooh, JT and Grimothy. They might make this round interesting. The double push over towards B. Nets them two quick kills. That bomb's going to up and leave. JDC and Crimbo already making some moves over towards A. They're going to get out before JT and Co. arrive. I don't know what's the rush in a 5v3 for you to push through the smoke. No, it's fair. Deep B. I was thinking the same thing. And then sprint across the map as well to go, hey, everything seems to be at a crazy pace for big in this round. That was a good move from Halzer. There's a round for complexity. Yes, indeed. All tied up so at one. You can, you can do anything. The pressure is on them. Instead, you went through it, you gave them two kills. Now you're now you're feeling pressure because it's a 3v3. One guy is low from, from getting the kills on mid, so you go A. And then you lose out in the post plan. And now you're sad. Now you're sad if you're big after a round like that, because you're fighting with just deagles and, and pistols up against M4s. Although it's not gone too bad. It's not gone horribly. Maybe you're about to be really happy. Maybe, There's an yeah. alternative way of viewing it. Maybe. For big, it's all going to be okay anyway. If they can battle through this 2v2, kids dropped right there on the site, so we'll get picked up. But it needs someone alive to grab it, and that's got to be Halzerk now. Wins that first engagement. Crimbo tried his hand at the trade. Watch out, Halzerk going to grab that kit. Is he just going to stick this? Yep, it's done. Crimbo calling his bluff. But it's Halzerk's house of cards there. He locks that in. And so for Big, it is not the happy ending they were looking for. The question is, like, do they buy here to keep the pressure? Yeah, they do. Yeah, because the Big do. of old would have half bought here or eco to make sure they come into the gun round with all their nades and all their guns. But I think that style of Counter-Strike isn't really viable these days, right? Has been viable for a yeah, while. For a while. Didn't yeah. prevent them from doing it, but <laughs> they finally learned their lesson. We finally got there. That's a lot of fire in middle. Smoke comes in a little bit late, but it does make an awkward fight for JDC. Equally, Alige, not expecting the buy, was very aggressively pushing. He's given up access to the eight bomb sites, so Holzerk. Floppy and JT going to be playing in Donut. Three of them in a tight corridor. Regan's got a smoke to block it off. But he's on the other side of the map. Big move from him. But what a big one to do now. He's got all the B. Oh, I've got that bomb trap. Okay. Yeah, and Complexity just don't know what's going on. Yeah, I mean, it's fair. Look at the minimap. They've been in Donut the entire round. They don't really know where this is hoping to end up. I think Big themselves are only just trying to piece that one together now. And it's Regon's push all the way through B. And we'll get them in towards this A site. Ooh. Great round from Regon. Ideally, you're hoping to just find a quick opening and then fall back, right? Like get into a 5v4 so that the T's feel a little bit of pressure and then try to react to what it is that they're going to do. So Big now doesn't see anything on mid. Okay, there's just a smoke on B. Didn't really reinvest into utility complexity, so just playing more towards the sites. Oh, there's that boost up over the smoke as well, like you said, looking for that early pick and then able to fall back afterwards, but Elijah has got it in red room. Ooh, wanted to go investigating for that gun, but he realizes he's got too much. He's got no backup either. They can just pressure him and keep him boxed in. Oh.
Grim tried to get there to lend a helping hand, but that's the M4 gone. Big have cut the map in two right now. And if they go B, there's nobody home. It's just JT and he rotated over to go plug this hole in the red room. So this is looking a bit good for, for Big to grab that fourth round. Yeah, well, they heard Mieko say patience was a virtue. So, you know, they're just chilling. Relaxing. I think they just came in, like, way too horny at the start of the game. Yeah. And now they've calmed down a little bit. Yeah, that'll happen to the best of us. We've all been there in a game of Counter-Strike. Opposite for Harry, though, he usually starts pretty flaccid in games and then turns harder and harder as the game goes on. I just wanted to see how subtle you were going to be with that. It wasn't not subtle. Very. <laughs> Subtlety is not my strong yeah. suit. <laughs> oh. Well, Floppy's at least got an AK-47, so it's something to take home and, and show off a little bit that he gets away with. It's 4-2. to two. Big and a nice little lead here on their map pick. Clear favorites in each group, and then a bunch of other teams. Who could make it? So yeah, the fact that you've drawn all the big boys is uh, certainly not great for Cole, but they've risen to the occasion most of the time. Oh, nice late flashbang from Krimbo. Nice entries from JDC. And just like that feels like the round is, is, is over. It's just bigs to kind of work this and constrict on whichever bomb site Ooh. they choose. That's a nice little fight to win at least. It might, it probably won't have much of a bearing on the round, but it's at least going to give Grim a chance to get involved at shutting down this B play. And so now you hit this point, like two on three. Sure, Halzerk is a long way away, but you're kind of, you're saying to Grim, like, okay, limit test yourself a bit here. Let's see what we can get away with. Let's see if we can get back into this round. Oh. It was a 2v5 when it began. Now down to the 2v3, you'd be foolish for not giving it a little look in. Really nice timing from Halzerk on this jump up. Just when they looked away from guarding this, and oh, he should have a freebie. He should have at least one. He wants more. Gotta be careful on the turnaround. There's the bomb planter. He's got that. Oh, two. Beautiful. 2v5 being brought back by complexity. Halzer just needs this defuse. Smoke off in towards the cave. He can tap this bomb. He's got to be scared about the spam, but if that's what he's going to risk with, go for it. Sticking the defuse, and Searson can't pull him off. And what a round to steal away for complexity. And yeah, gaps because I mean, even the fact that it took them so long to ever feel comfortable to plant that bomb, giving Halzerk more time. Let's see if Cole can use this to get back into the swing of things then. Oh, Alish oh. does get the one tap. Yeah. Follow up made is perfect. That's the all pitting the deck. Halzerk is going to step up to the plate. X is being held and he's got that kill. JDC not fast enough. And Halzerk wants a little bit more. Tapson trying to challenge. Him and Regan, the only two remaining against three complexity defenders. And over the top, it's Halzerk. Ever since I gave him that pep talk, man, he's been kind of goaded, has Halzerk. Ooh. You know. Has an ego peak, though. He was flexing a little bit. We'll give him one. Well, you we'll told see. him to go for that, Harry. Yeah, I did say we didn't raise the bottom for Iger. <laughs> <laughs> He's a 9-to-5 kind of guy. Look at him. This is KD. It just felt like it fit in a bit. It, it was good. It was, the, it was the working hours. All the way over to B. Let's see if they regret giving up that one kill. Do they think they still have the bomb? I think they do. Yeah, they, they're so wrong. Well, now they need to salvage utility and kits. 17 seconds left to upgrade to the AK-47. Grimm's picked up a kit, two flashbangs to work with, 36 HP on Regon. But he should be able to hear all this, because they're hustling over quick-like. Yeah, they seem suspicious about K, but he tries to catch one. And he does get JT out in the open. Grim doesn't commit to the stick, but the last few times they've been tasked with these 1VXs over towards B, it's been that, that full stick of the bomb that's come back to haunt them. Oh, here we go. Ooh, can't land it, but Regan swings wide. JT with one kill might slow things down. Regan's just a beast today, man. Okay. He's, he's insane. Don't lose this one. 
It'd be kind of funny if they did, though. I mean... Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's just floppy. They're gonna swing them together, count down. There's the swing. Yeah. Shocking, when they play together, they win these 4v2s. <laughs> <laughs> Counter-Strike 101. As if you just needed the example to put up there on the poster. We want the force by. We want the 2v5. Another clutch. No clean rounds for them yet. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know how to feel about the game yet, because, like, it's close in terms of the score, but it's one of these ones where, like, it could have very easily been, like... 8172 in Big's favor if they just stuck the landing converting some of the easy rounds. Well, it's more like if they just extended the landing gear yeah, yeah. while landing. They were sort of going for that <laughs> belly landing, which is very brave, you know. Usually people only use it in emergency situations, yeah. but for them it seems to be standard operating procedure. Yeah. Way above the guideline, they're just coming yeah. on in, you know, yeah. they're locked on the wrong... Uh, Give it to me, Searson. Double scope. Bang. Floppy brought it down very low. Smoke and Annie knows what's coming next. Grim's got one over at the B bomb site. That's towards Cave. <laughs> That's a full there. Uh, That's a full bait there. They really got Searson's attention. Ooh. Ooh. All right, Tabson. All right, Tabson. What? Where did that come from? He's up for the ace. It's called heaven, that area. JT's so confused. He's like, how did this How did this all happen so fast? How did it all come crumbling down? It's a fair question for JT. Moments yeah. ago, they were about to win the round quite comfortably. Now they're going to have to earn it. Is he ready for Crimbo? Is he ready? Doesn't look like it. And so big managed to turn it around. And they changed their fortunes. 8-4 on that T-side courtesy of Captain Tabson. This has been just a, a great encapsulation of, I think, the issues complexity has been trying to overcome over the past few months. Is like this: this can't be the team that beat Mal's 13-8, 13-6, 2-0 in their previous series, right? Just like the inconsistency of coming in in a game against Mal's, handling business, looking good, and then coming in here and, and having it be sketchy. Would you say they play up to the level of their opponent or down? What's I guess this I would say. Yeah. Observing style. You like that? Not really, but oh, it was okay. kind of cool. <laughs> Never mind. Never, bro. Try it again. I, I think it'll grow on me. Or don't. Start next round. All right. Tabson. Mean tap out through the spawn. Here's those rotates arriving. And Tabson is still putting Colin baskets. How's that? Ooh. Oh, he's, he's so mad. on in and gets tapped out of the round. That leaves it all on JT. Goodbye. And now we got I'm a red room peak. We got a red room peak coming in from Searson. He's not out yet. He's not out yet. Here's the peak. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. And now he pees. <laughs> and for my next trick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So at least a bomb plan for complexity. Let JDC go first. No. It's 2 HP. Let him find him. There we go. Let him go third. Make it hard. Play with a handicap. It's only fair. JT's Bit only one damage. player. Bit of damage. One kill. <gasps> Two kills. JT. Holy shit. Gets away. See us now left up in this all alone. He will regret not peeking the window. As the door on this round might have closed for big, Searson is not given the fight. Another tap on the bomb. JT pulls his bluff again, but Ooh. it's a nice tap for Searson. Going to be close, uh -huh. but I think big have got this one in the bag. Well, thank God. I mean, I know JT is good for a miracle clutch now and again. That would have been, I think, too much for big to handle after the 5v2 earlier. Maybe someone misread the situation. Potentially. Made uh, not the best of course. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Wow! Is it? Thanks for that. <laughs> Case. Oh. Ever... Ooh, nice Grim. Nice oh. Grim. Grim Reaper making an appearance. <laughs> <laughs> I realized the first yell was so out of place. So I just, you know, tried to make it a bit just random yelling, like yeah. Sonic, keeping Jason on his toes. Dude, that killed me on, the, on that first week. That was unreal. Or the first day.
Uh, nice job from Grim. Bro, Grim is farming. Three kills in the round so far. Looking for another one. He hears the FAMAS. And oh, it's Floppy who takes it. Nicely done from Complexity. So they're not out of it yet. They win the second round, and we know for CT sides, that's that's horrific. This is the nightmare scenario. It is the worst possible scenario. I mean, you save this Galil, right? You have 20 HP. There's no reason to get anywhere close anyway. Okay, cool. And these rounds are tough, man. I mean, we saw it in the Liquid VP game, right? That's why VP put a lot of bodies on mid, because this is what the T's like to do a lot. But in that game, Liquid just did an A execute, right? And got into the site more or less for free. Then JKS had a big round. And yeah. so it, it's hard because, yeah, sure, it's not an ideal buy for the T's, oh. but they get to pick where the fight is going to happen. First... And they can pull their limited resources and... Grim hit some really good shots. Yeah, that first shot was an absolute banger, half blinded. Harry, could you check the uh, the mailbag for me while you're over yeah, there? Yeah, of course I can. Let's just see if there's any an update. Uh, you guys can all participate in the show if you send us in some questions, concerns, comments, information, pictures, anything you want, really, um, to eplmailbag at efg.gg. Well. Great we don't have any stuff yeah. in there right now. Okay. I'm going to be honest. Give with us you. some but stuff, chat. If you want, you can send some stuff in. EPL mailbag at efg.gg. But take a look at this over in Maine. <gasps> JDC. Oh, not JDC. Going to have to be someone else. What about CSC? What about Regon? He's having a pretty good game. Well, it's not CSC. No, but Regon's still very much in the picture here. He's using those deagles like a chisel, just one by one, chipping away at the HP. Gonna stand behind the Molotov. There ain't no chance. There ain't Never mind no the Rizzler, bro. They call him the Chisler. Oh, that would have been epic. Then he like kills all three. Three one the days right after that. Bang, bang, bang. But not meant to be complexity. Six rounds. Look at this through the uh, through the cracks here. That's like very that? cinematic. And then it goes up and out. Look, and then you see where they go. See some smokes going. And then we can see something in line with this. And then look, Is I'm this tracking one them going mid. Too and I'm far on. for complexity. Oh, look at all that nade damage. JDC brought low. Crimbo half HP. They've got the opening kill. It's Elise trying to force his way in, but from heaven, it's JT. Yanko, when you put your hands up in the air like that, I think you want to say something. Not always. Sometimes I'm just uh, a little bit confused myself. <laughs> <laughs> Where were Crimbo's teammates in that situation, potentially? How can a guy be really a... Uh, so deep up there when he has teammates Ooh. in cave. And probably Krimble's feeling the same way. Yeah, he might have a similar thought to it at the moment. Well, and Searson's thinking, where can I put this alt to go to just keep it alive? Ooh, Searson. He's not going for Come this, Come on, right? then. Oh, I admire the hell out of this. Good luck. I think he's giving it a look, and then he doesn't find anyone Soon he's gonna go back and save that AWP. Maybe throw the smoke, try to bait someone out, make it interesting. I'm not gonna lie, it seems like he's yep, you're you dead on. Backing away. Alright, smoke on the bomb, gonna keep them frozen at the site, so he's got time to reposition and get the op, and it's gonna be nine to eight. Complexity closing the gap. All right, we got some mailbag questions come through. You ready for this? We got some good ones. Jason, yeah. ask Jason if he follows the NFL and what he thinks of the new Bears lineup. Uh, I don't follow the NFL. Was it who? Who did that? American. That was Pie? American Pie. Yeah. It's the guy who looks like Steel. Yeah, yeah, Jason yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, actually. Little known fact: Steel was his body double. And they also got the whole pie thing from Steel. Yep. So that movie's based on a true story. That movie's actually based on my hometown. I believe that. I buy pies. <laughs> Elise. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> That's content. Regard! Get one more. Oh, bro, he's so good. I hate watching him. Look at this. 3 2. Complexity. Now plain sailing as Searson lands the double chunk wall bang bomb denial. Oh, he's done it again what? for a third time, bro. Searson toggled on. Searson is online. All uh, right, defensive smoke to give Grim some room to work. Oh, he didn't see that. He didn't spot that. He just disappears. Okay, what? they reposition. One inside cave, one wrapping around to B ramp. 
Ooh, Grim gets rid of JDC, so it's got to be Searson. And that probably won't be Searson. Save. Rush. I hope you're happy, bro. He yeah. listened to you and you what got him killed. That's hell? bad info. Jason. No, I couldn't find one fast enough right out into mid. Halzerk. Tried his hand at the opening pick, but instead it looks like it's going to come the way of JT. But he's quick to give up this control. Instead, giving the angle, giving the line to Halzerk to hold for middle. That was a nice reaction of spotting that B-Doors smoke and anticipating the, the, the ramp take from Big. Nice move so that that AWP was set up to cover it. That was kind of Big's whole response to losing mid was to try and take lane away. And now that that hasn't panned out, they're pretty stagnant for the time being. They're stuck here. It's a decent adjustment from Big, you know, going for the stack, not even pushing a little bit forward towards Cave. They have Searson and Dona who could take peaks mid and day. So let's see how this made fate smoke works out. Complexity seems so dead set though on just being patient and then and then hitting through through jungle or um, uh, through cave. Thirty seconds. Grim has to. Yeah. Now they're going to try to link up with Grim. Ah, uh, it's too late though. Searson only gets the one. Okay, into the A bomb site we go. There's a Molotov to prevent any access to the site for the CTs. Bomb being planted. Tapson's gonna head in towards Temple. Get a quick leg up on that front. Two coming from CT spawn. Floppy in the open. Spots one. Awkward fight. Knows the follow-up is going to come from Temple. But now it's just Grim, and he almost gets caught. Awkward peek. Tap the bomb for some action out of Grim. Good spray control. Takes off the defuse, and it's just Crimbo. Halfway through that bomb, he's got no kit. Grim worried, pacing, and Grimbo's got it. Nice, easy kill at the end of the day, and he can run on back for a no kit, full defuse. Nice. That was a nice recovery from Big in the 4v5, right? See, the Grim is in A main in 30 seconds, right? You know, the call has to come by them. Are we trying to go A? Are we trying to go B? You're worried about the stack in that situation, so you know it's fine to send Grim out, and if he has contact, then you end the round on B. If doesn't, you have time to rotate over. But they didn't have a ton of control, not the cleanest of endings. Still had the opportunity to clutch it out, but couldn't hit some of the shots. Ooh. Because of the flash, that molly misses its mark, so... JT didn't get the room over a cave he was looking for. Instead, it's Halzerk to open Ooh. on a Seuss, and he's even landed a shot on the wall bank. Well, he delivered them a 5-on-4 in the previous round. They weren't able to convert. Bruh, this sucks for Regon, though. He, oh, Not too much. Still gets a kill out of it, which yeah. is sick for him. Good reposition to go grab the orb. I was going to say, he isn't, like... He never really got to play the round, not like he made a huge mistake or anything, just got random wall bang down at 6 HP, and he's still trying to be the hero. Still trying to be the guy that puts Big back in the driver's seat here. I feel like Elise has had a, a rough game, certainly by his standards, but been caught in some awkward timing, some peaks that were unfortunate. He was testing in middle. Regan's shifting over. Elise with the first peak. Oh, hard clear. And Regan's only got six health. So as soon as he peeks, he better land a shot and disappear. But they're looking for this. That's oh, a line. No, no. they aren't. Oh, oh my, my God. Lord. Regan, six points of health from the start of the round. A wall bang from Halzerk. He's donning the AWP and he's made this competitive. He's given Big a chance, but now he is the only man standing. One shot will end his round. One bullet. From Elige or Halzerk puts a stop to Regon's reign of terror. And so Complexity tie this game back up. Ten apiece. God, they're just flying in. I can't, every time I go to read one, there's a hundred more Jason questions. JDC. One, one, one over in middle lane. Oh, what? Oh, that was Regon. That was Regon in the, the site. Oh, oh, this is sketchy. Grim, that's rough. Tries to jump up to help, but ends up making matters worse. Slow down here as that molly misses. That would have been the prime chance to punish. Everyone's just kind of hoping maybe this shot is the one that wins the round. How did this round get so chaotic? How did Complexity let it happen in this round? They're about to, uh, you had such a weak economy situation. You're about to give up the red carpet. You know, when you ask me, what can you do with like a low buy? Yeah. Well, that's what Big did. <laughs> okay. 
Everyone's standing around like this round. It's still happening. I don't know if I've ever... I can't remember the last time I saw a round of Ancient where it felt like two Ts were just boxed in for like a minute and ten seconds at this position of the map. Oh. Okay. Still, I didn't think that's going to entice you. No, but it should entice Crimbo to try and chase down. He doesn't have time to get to A. I think he wants to go get a gun? No, he's not even moving. Not even budging from his position. I thought maybe he'd flirt with the B ramp to try and get an AK-47. Okay, coming in late. Coming in late. Round is over. Do you peek if you're floppy? Do you risk it? He's really hoping he gets this peek through the short line, but taps in his cup. Oh, they walked right in front of him. They kind of doomed him to fail there, and now they try to go in a B. The AWP might have a chance to get involved. Instead, it's JT to open. Crimbo, faster up around the long side. JT's dead. Hal Zerk's AWP has been waiting all around for its chance to strike, and that time might have to be now, as Grim is still very far removed from this round. He might have good timing on a Tabson over in Cave. That is one of the fights we're going to have to bear in mind, as Halzerk's been able to get out. Oh, Grim dead, though. So just Halzerk remains. Searson shuts him down, and big in pole position. 12 to 10. All right, well, fast util. Red room and towards the B-bomb site. Little lurk smoke. Might be a very similar round played out by complexity. They even do a defensive smoke at B lane. Ooh, one spot at the head, but Regon out in the open. Can't track that. Good luck, Tapson. Good luck, Tapson. Oh, Double kill while blind. Tried to get out of there, but then throws himself right back in. Tapson is having a round. Tapson has done it for big. Four kills. That should be everything. That should be the map. And it's locked in. By Tabson, Searson there to close, and Big take it, 13-10. Picking Ancient, picking up the dub. And now Vertigo remains for complexity. We hot. <laughs> it's we hot. hot. I see what you did there. Yeah, well, it is now because the AC's been turned off and I'm already feeling a bit warm. I am feeling a little... I'm yeah, a bit hot. Uh, maybe we should, we should file a complaint with the tournament operators. At least we, we don't have like, the for big studio lights like right in our faces here, right? No, that's uh, that's true. That's ooh, a saving grace. Ooh, ooh, JDC. He catches his teammate's flash and it's resulted in them knowing exactly where he is and he's taken an awful lot of damage. He does force out the molly. Grim's accelerated Whoa. and been deleted. Hard to track. Tamsin doesn't find a multi-kill, but his teammates have all managed to find a frag each. A nearly a full Ooh. teammate wait, 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 wait. there. We, we, gotta, we gotta take a pause, guys. We gotta, what, what other bullshit can we conjure up right now to... <laughs> no, their the socks were too tight. Looks... After the break, feeling pretty bad? Right now? I don't know. I'd be in a good mood after beating Astralis and Maus back to back. Yeah, but then you just lost first map to Big. You had an yeah. okay ish. Like, they were up 4 0 or something. They were up they pulled 12. The big cup back. Then, then it was oh, 4 8 half after they had a 4 on 2. Then they had a little bit of a comeback, brought back to 10 10, then lost out, kind of. Oh, nice try. I mean, committing to the spray transfer was ambitious. Now Zerk's able to bring him down, puts us into an even keel, mid-searching. There's going to be a clash here for Krimbo. It's a powerful angle. You can see he's just darting in and out of this pole. A potential boost. Let's see how quick Krimbo re reacts to this. They've done it safely, and oh. uh, they've actually fumbled it. Doesn't matter. Uh, it was all part the of the plan, Hugo. It was all part of the plan. Are they ready for more, though? Maybe one more, but I don't know if they expect two. Oh, he's running corner. away, but the second player in mid. Around CT. Dead. Oh, he is surely saying. cooked. Yeah, lovely. Fine. Oh, fine. Beautiful control of the spray from Grim. Three really in the round. Reset. Oh, that's a Grim round. It's a good gap find from Complexity there. Standard CT defense from the side of Big. Once they go down some players, the B player pulls back. You have to watch mid, play the retake on that B site. B gap is found. How does why do what's the word for that when we say bad, like typically negative words but they mean good things like, like that's dirty, sick yeah. that's dirty like, that's disgusting. nasty yeah I did try and think about that I never, is that slang I, I mean never, it's part of slang he's doing it again it's a cheeky boost it feels like a guaranteed frag but he's actually committed to it very really. patient on that one really oh. wanted the kill really wanted it so this crimbo the flash. Oh, don't you just hate it, Josh, when you pull your trigger a little early? 
hate when that happens. It's just the worst. It happens to the best of us. Floppy, on the warpath. Speaking of. <laughs> oh. Oh, I don't even try to take it there. <laughs> I'm trying to do my job, man. B site responsibly uh, held by JDC. I don't fancy his chances with three no. barreling towards him. They've used all their flashes. They can't support him. He has to peek, and Hauser holding it down with the orb. Taps him. Default does the hey. mid. And Regon is there to help out. Right now, Bigger putting up a stellar defense. Ooh. We're going to have another yeah. talk about the default plant situation. Yeah, we oh might have God. to. Oh, God. I mean, maybe they've, maybe they've solved That's it. That's an elevator, or it's a deep smoke at least, that might allow them to plant on the... mid site. Oh. oh, not if they go down to Thompson like that, then Rick okay, on now they, This is really now good for like Yeah. Oh, but here we go. You can't plant on the... Yeah, you can if you got cover. You can if you got cover. That's a big kill coming through the smoke. Boom. JDC re-enters the round. Maybe there's a world. Maybe there's a way. We're gonna talk about that after this round plays out. Crimbo on that rafter gonna clear out most of the area over here. Oy. JDC winning the 1v1 against the Liege. Floppy, it's all on him oh. to close out. One versus one, one HP on JDC. Yeah, JDC is just gonna have love to hold it. it. I love it. Pros don't fake, pros don't fake. Oh. And it's not gonna work out for him. Floppy impactful triple, closes it up, clutches it up 1v2. Look what they've got to work with in this one. It's not fun, it's not pretty, and a fumbled flash from JDC. They're loving the boost. Look at this, full man. For Liege. And mid clear, they're ready. Elige set for success, and it's gonna be two. Grim and Elige mow them down. Getting away from the threat, and it's not gonna feel good for Big Clan when you've just kind of been forced into a, a forced buy. And you've got, what, two kills to boast? Grim didn't even get an AK out of that. Sure, he gets timing back into B, but Colar grouping. It's going to be a 1v2 for Grimbo. Elise with such low HP is essentially just out of the round now. He's just going to be hanging out, holding mid pushes for the start, for a while at least. I think he's just so it's so quiet, he wants to get curious and get info. And if he does, Colar waiting for exactly that. If he doesn't tuck here, he might just walk into the waiting rifle. And that's the round for Cole. Well handled with the mid stack for Big. And Grimbo at the end there just trying to get a lucky timing on some sort of movement rotation around from complexity, but maybe the best play that he had there. Okay, he said something, he said something about, about smoke. smoke, and I couldn't hear the first part. It said, I thought I heard Arbite, which means work, but I don't think that's what he actually or said. Or maybe he means no, it like let's work, work mid, position. Work, oh, work, work around. But I don't know if... Work it. I don't know if they use work in that same context. Maybe yeah. they do. Slay Queen, down the ramp. Ich auch weiß nicht. But yeah, JT is here. Regon. What can what's Max do? What's Max do? What's Max do, Regon? Yeah, sehr gut. Nice man. Uh, wunderbar. Sehr gut, Digga. Up. Up. Yeah. Die Stare. Das stimmt, das stimmt. Ja, yeah, ja. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Und Vorsicht für die Loschwasser an Speisung. Große Nade. Granada? A a ah, yeah, Granada. I remember that from the uh, Call Dave of Duty one. Oh, Call Granada. of Duty. Granada! Achtung! Achtung! Forsisch, Krimbo! Yeah, wunderbar! Oh. For Krimbo! And uh, auch gut geht's. for Floppy! But yeah, it's just fear for Big Clan. I don't know. It's, uh, what, Kaufin is by Zalen. Is ah, but Salen, yeah, Salen, order. Salen mit uh, Geld. Yeah, sehr good. Yeah, uh, it's a big one B here. JDC is gonna have to go. Oh, <laughs> Bloody hell! Well, that's that's one way to d deliver. Uh, he jumps up on the boards, finds three in the single magazine spray. Not ideal for complexity. Off the back of a timeout, worked out wonderfully. A flashbang was there. Taps and good move away. Could have got wall bang there by Halzerk. So just going to play timings on double box. That's a beautiful shot for Grim. Taps and fired first, but Grim's got that big gun. And now JDC looking to finish what he started on this B site. I love this position. He's got a pixel cross to the white box. Going to get flashed in, but everyone's blind. I don't know if they saw him cross here. So he just swings out, takes a fourth. 
JDC, come on, finish the job, buddy. Triple entry and double close oh, on the jump up too. for JDC. <laughs> Ace. Ace for JDC on that B-bomb side. And I do feel like whenever I'm playing against a good Bianca on Vertigo, those double stacks, like so being able hard. to catch a timing where you slip to double where they think you're still default or quad, yeah. that's where, like, that's a real power play um, in the B-anchor arsenal. Okay. Huge flash timing. And that was a two-man push with a third-person flashing as well. This is a big timeout call. The T's can win super easy with like a Lurk Smoke and a Flash. They just have stairs most of the time, unless you dedicate a lot of utility and two players to taking stairs. I think you're right. We filter out last three months instead, and it is a 50-50 for okay. the top 20 teams. Okay. Maybe that side hole changing, giving the CTs a little bit more control over that A area, did help that situation. Yeah, probably made it more CT-sided. They get the timing there, they get the ramp control, but they, they get shut down by the AKs. It's a super cheeky round because Cole walked the entire way up into default and they had absolutely no idea. Taps and caught by surprise. A player has made it behind enemy lines. Look at the Liege. He is wrapping the back. Searson doesn't know. He's trying to stop that plot. He won't rush it down. The nades fall a little short. Regon, what a flank timing. Is he coming oh. short right now? They also don't know. There's flanks on flanks. Regon surprises, but Krimbo gets the kill and they know Cole must be in the elevator. How's like the unknown? Entity Huge. not required as Grim gets doubled. Three in the round. It's only Crimbo. 1v2. He's got a kit. Two flashes on Grim. As soon as that tap comes in, flash from Grim, Holzerk peeks with it. Or a double peek. Yeah, that works too. So lovely headshot. Okay. Okay. So if Grim steps up. Round. Impactful multi kills. Had that 1 0 coming over Con on the B hit. And another 3k there. This is something new from Big. Taking that middle line, they have Rigon. that off there. Rigon, the there is a Molly. Fuck? I think it was locking him out of both double sides. Molly? Yeah, One of those, molly, you're just gonna molly. watch me die oh, okay. here moment he while his teammate sits there with a the smoke grenade. I'm sorry, I was just so confused. I was like, Ocean tier. You're Ocean aware, tier, you're yeah. aware, you're aware. He was, he was aware. It's just like either run forwards, run back, or hope that he's swinging to you. I'm surprised he didn't run somewhere. Knife out and yeah. move. Run, just run. <laughs> maybe, really. I suppose what he's thinking there is someone's gonna, someone's gonna, Wing him, but there was yeah. a molly. Or no. maybe someone was going to smoke for. Oh, what are you doing over there, Sisson? Goes for an aggressive out. ladder flank. Cheeky. Well, that's middle exposed for now complexity. He's yeah. They just go A. They say, fine, have the flank. We're 5v3. What's we know one of you are gone. What's to do, bro? He's alone. Yeah, this is. One man and a HE grenade. This is a very weird round. Everything's like weird. The lurk is nice, though, because Flop. He's going to get attention, and oh. that kill actually sells his play perfectly. Tabson's now rotating into B. Bomb is going A. And Tabson probably realizes as well that this is uh, the last round. Yep, going to have to get his socks oh. pulled up. And now Floppy's flanking him. And Searson's like, don't worry, and there's I a flanker him, on the flank. But I don't know if Searson does have him. I think Floppy might come into this position before Searson gets a sight. Tabson turns Spidey around. Senses. They catch him. They knew he was there, but they can't win this round, Wait, surely. If Grim goes down here... Never mind. It's a rock mind. right now. Another multi kill. And this is the half hit. Cole recovered. A bit of trolling in the middle. But they're back in with six. It's a little to be expected at this point, though. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, more of that big Cole action up after the break. And an opportunity to get to the playoffs if they can convert this one. Big a map up. I've got Hugo joining me and Steel. Super cool stories as well, because while you can you know, say for sure, oh, impressive wins for Cole, being Astralis, being Maus are sick. I think big as well, surprising, taking down Fnatic, who looked great on that opening match. So, yeah, there's uh, there's playoffs earned here for the winning team. Big trying to do it in two. Try to, Cole trying to come back to a third. Let's see who's got this pistol, though. Big down a man already, just crawling out middle, but Cole chomping at the bits to fight back. Oh. Oh. Massive. It still doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Tabs has got the. Let's go. Not opting for the economical. And well, backing it up with some serious fragging. Both. Whoa! Elise gets two on the ramp. Not a favorable fight by any means, but he's made it look like way. And he's got support as well. Hauser covers the push of Searson, protects Elige, and yeah, it's been justified. Who needs utility? You can just use the MP9 to great success.
Could still potentially have a conversation about Crimbo with that long range MP9. Floppy all the way from Catwalk. Grabs himself a Galil for his hard troubles. They leave that round, not only with the round. They, Big Clan, on that $1,400. Whatever they can afford here. Oh, and this is going to feel very bad when you've gone for the, re the, the force back in. Trying to jostle for control of the economy and... You lose an opening kill in the first five seconds, you know, you're already kind of tutting your tongue, feeling a bit helpless, and it gets worse. Crimbo gone, rig on. Taken down by Floppy. A hard shot to hit for Sears, and just unable to convert it there as the lead's just using all of the uh, benefits that the MP9 uh, allows him. A bit more mobile, a bit more dynamic. Moving accuracy, not too bad, and Tabson can't hit the shot, so five alive. And they know they bought. They know they had Kev. Ooh. Talk about the next round as you sit there and spawn with Glocks for 30 seconds. How often is, is that actually happening? Because we say that a lot, but sometimes I just see players not say a word in these full ecos and just breathe I guess it through it. Depends team to team. As an in game leader, I can tell you I'm absolutely using that to ask questions yes. about what's going on here, how are they playing. Uh, you know, if it's round two, different story. There's not really many questions to ask. Sure. Maybe it's a question of resetting mental. Nice hang. Yeah, Thompson understandably feeling like he had a second there. We talked about before how difficult it is to get all the angles smoked off and get that plant. Maybe a shoulder spotted by Sirison. Nope, doesn't seem like it. It's a big, chunky grenade. Complexity now know exactly where Big is trying to go. Trying being the key word because they've not exactly gotten in. Break on the smoke means JT gets shot, but they run through. A leech one for one. It's a big trade. 20 seconds now. Still got to get that plant. And the smoke's going to fade soon. So Floppy can disallow this bomb from being stuck. Sissa may be out, but this can, again, just be another denial. What were you expecting, boys? As Hauslick has the cover. I feel like you've got to fake it. At least once. Well, let's not plant default anymore. It's, it's yeah. not the spot. I mean, it's not like elevate. It's not like the alter in that situation. The alternative plant is any better because they saw someone heaven, but how's that went back round, sure. right? So in their head, they're like, yeah, you "Can't plant for heaven." Fair enough. Fair enough. And but uh, it's it's the elevator you because like if they can kill you if if you're planting old default, they can kill you there and they can kill you on the alternative plan like in the site you need the Ellie smoke so they can also kill like you everywhere the generator at B with a flank from middle but floppy says no tries to back away with his life <gasps> saved in the back and a leash coming wow. through that heavens big save to clean up the round there with three kills towards the end and complexity oh. pick up their 11th round and big the back of a tech nine rush through that middle a B split what does that mean? Um, unlucky marmalade. That's what they say. Damn. They are in a jam, all right. Oh. But Cole, look at this push from Elite. She's heard the scope. They oh my god. Through, and somehow he gets one. Even that feels very lucky. That was really hanging in the balance there. Oops. Krimo dropped there. JT heard it. Yeah. You're right, JT did yeah, hear that the timing. Flank. Oh, he's doubting it, though. These three-on-threes, they should favor the attackers in these types of situations, being able to group up three players together. But with that information confirmed, JT closing mm. the gap in the flank, you'd expect Big Clan maybe to decide to go B for one of these rounds in the mid-round. Last time they went A, it didn't work out. Denied on the plant from Elevator. He's going too early. His team have no contact. Yeah, shadow. A shadow away. But he's still going to get the timing. That was a second away from guaranteed death. Instead, oh, no. He's got to live here. Success. Yeah, go back. Reset. Three on three. But again, big. Let's see what they try and do with this package. 30 seconds. They can't play just for the kills. If Cole don't give them away, but they'll steal them instead. Grim with another. Floppy in the open. Caught out, but Grim trades that frag. And JDC, 20 seconds. This play does not work. A reset from JT will secure the round for complexity. I've... The... I haven't really been casting CS at all, yeah. ever, yeah, we'll pretty much. It's true, it's true. This is the first time I'm cast, if you want to call this casting, even. Yeah, I don't know, <laughs> podcasting. Podcasting, yeah, sure. Okay, well that's actually a little uncomfortable for Cole. The the only slight, perhaps, silver lining here is it does look like they're heading towards JT's bomb site, And he has, well, had a little a bit. a team flash there, too. 
they've just cancelled their plans. They're actually... Ooh. It's a big kill from JDC. Yeah, it would have got a little bit more interesting if Elise had managed to convert onto the first man on the scene there, JDC. Great catch, and it is resulting in a, an A push. You can see Halzok's called the cavalry over. He heard the steps, and nails the first. Gap is Winnable. occupied. Missed his timing window yeah. and shot in the side of the face. Should save. They've got the money, but it's not really a nice spot to be in. Big should try to allow JT just to live. Exit kills not really necessary. Their economy not that great. Four round gap that they have to close down in complexity. We'll have another buy round coming up here. So every additional death that Big receives, keeping in mind that Rigon down to 26 HP as well. These players can die to basically one bullet depending on distance. He's going to go through that. The BNE in him still Ooh, there. Down yeah. to three HP. Straight through the smoke. Whoa. Oh. Angles, man. I can see the man. It's all tilted, man. That will stop a reboost. Yeah. So, I mean, Searson walking up gap with the orb. Is there a flash here, Regon though? gets all Anyone? three. All three. three. There's one. There's two. There's three. Nice work for Regon. And Regon alone. Halzerk. Ooh. Two of them really low, though. Floppy, if he deals with Searson here, has a real chance. The aggressive angle through the smoke this game does not, not over. consider it. This it game is, is not. absolutely not over. Probably going to have to see an eco round coming out from the side of complexity. And then two real chances, maybe one and a half real chances to close it out after that. The mic's the mouse slam. Not what you want to be doing. Leave the peripherals alone. That's a nice deagle headshot, JT. So uh, it's going to channel them into way, I would imagine, with a bit of pace. I say that they're actually walking, so it's given time for the five of them to get into the right positions. It's Crimbo down. AK recovered for the side of Grim. 19 kills for him. Leading the pack. Oh, man. This Rounding is, it off to a nice is, uh, 20. This in corner should have lost. This. Don't, you can't lose this, Big. Oh, that's, that's not allowed. That's, a man. that's, that's not allowed. allowed. Versus does, man. Was Anything but stuff. Wunderbar for big. It's Tabson on one health. Sisson, I mean, he might have to go through the smoke. Just try and make a hero play. Tabson spamming smokes like he's not made of glass. He gets shattered. Sisson with a nade. And he jumped close, isolated. There's a cat peek. If Halzak went for it, there was a window. Oh. But instead, Sisson has shut the door in this round and saved big from devastation, giving time for Halzak to get armed and get booted back towards that B site. Oh, man, it's come down to this. They had a 3v1 on just an economical round and Searson to come up clutch. He's done the hard part already. Seems to have a good idea as to where Halzok's coming from. Just up going for the waiting game here, Halzok. Ops for danger. If he catches the right timing when Searson looks away. Perfectly played. Searson extends play on Virgo. But a near miss right there. I mean, how is that not going to make you feel weird if you're a big clan? Uh, like, do you let him plant? Do you just kind of essentially just play to live and then try and My general philosophy him? is you force him to go to the site to plant. It gives away his position. It locks him in. And then make it awkward and then, for him. Yeah, and then make him sweat. You can come from different angles. That's when he starts to panic and flick around. Takes his crosshair away from where you guys are. Right. Oh, good catch from JT. He's under a Ooh, lot of pressure, but he's done wow. well to get away with a double. Into the site. Double kill from Tabson, but Searson is still hitting his AWP, and that's his 17th frag at the top of the table with JDC yeah. and Rigon. Halzerk, however, could end it now. Sis made the right call. He immediately disengages. Now, he's not rotating. They try and bait out the... The rotation Rotate sound. Halzerk. Halzerk didn't it's, hear the sounds no. towards A, but because they haven't progressed towards B, he's just taking that gamble, moving over to the site, praying that they are actually going to this A site, knowing that his last position was noted towards B. And I feel like the death cam player, the last guy Sisson killed, says he was leaving because that's all you see in the death cam. Sisson turned around and then recommits and Big just smoked their way in. They can get the plant. That's a nice alternative plant as well. And Halzerk, no kits. Might have to be thinking about playing for the overtime, or you know, playing for the last round, rather. Yeah, there is one by Generators, but with the AWP, he's probably so going to want to save that. 
the fence over towards that A side instead, after, that could be an opening. All starts with this first pick. And he's nailed it. Look at that. Just a good understanding of the timing. JDC goes down to Halzerg Sorp and now limping our big, operating at a 4v5. Smoke on the ramp facilitated a close MP9. You can see Floppy gonna push up on that. Yeah, but he's hearing this. This is perfect. Perfect from Floppy. Oh, he's nearly taken down Searson as well. The AWP with his pistol out gets run down. Combat AWPing. Floppy hits a no scope. One way to do it. And that's the third map essentially locked in. Trimbo oh. goes down, Floppy has a round, a triple kill from him. Three orc frags out of five, Halzerk and Floppy rack it up, convert Vertigo. And we got Dust2 waiting in the wings, still yet to confirm who's getting a ticket to the playoffs. Big clan, more complex. Searson's about to have a day. Ooh, he did have a this bit of a- This is his map, him and Tabson, it's their map. I see you, I see you Germans on Dust2. And, well, actually a very big frag onto JDC, and now Rigon's been distracted, pulled away from the window position, and it's been taken. Occupied now by Cole, bomb scooped up, Elige holding for the rotate, it's going to be cleared out by Crimbo. Clean headshot found and posted by Mr. Crimbo. Hard to track, and, yeah, boils down nicely. Pistols are one thing. Off gets Jungs. Off gates indeed, but uh, it was the second round which was slipping behind, uh, or slipping away from them previously. <laughs> What's that? What is going to be back? next? Well, I'm out of here, so <laughs> good luck, Jakey. See ya. God damn it. How, when did they become unionized out here? Hey, I heard you talking yesterday, man. I, I was there back in the day, man. I did like nine best of ones a day and all this kind of stuff. So I remember what it was like. How'd, it's nice now, though. When did you get food breaks? Uh, well, we still, well, we don't really. In between maps. That's all it is. We'll get the Observer Union on the phone. Thanks for your time, Rush. No worries. Four, four. See he, was clearing clearing the smoke. Rush. he was clearing the smoke. Look three, at three. Jump down. Oh yeah, no, you're right, you're right. Zero. Oh, maybe. Oh, well, seven's dead, but that's okay. Staying on zero. Okay, Tabson gets it. Well, now you stay on nine. Well, well, unless nine's gonna get shot in the head by like five, I'd stay on nine. Well. Oh, look at this though. Oh, oh I don't trust right. it though. I don't trust right. it. You don't there, believe there him. You okay, he's right. Well. I respect the effort. Yeah, you, know, you show that someone's doing something. Do you know these days, Josh, that one observer doesn't even do the perspective cams? Yeah, that's... Yep. They they have, like, a whole team and stuff. It's, yeah! Then they communicate to each other. They there communicate to each other. They're one setting this up. All right, I'm ready to go. Okay, cue it. Ship it. Clip constant, it. Constant uh, back and forth with the production team as well, like the rest of the production team. Did you have a name for this alt pick in the US? We call Guardian. it... Guardian. Guardian? I think we had Guardian pick. Um, sorry. That wasn't really a US call. I uh, I don't remember. Oh. Absent. Elevation. Light damage and swung upon. Good kill from JT. Take the advantage. We used to call it a Diggs pick. Diggs. There was a player in ours who used to mm. that, but that was from Source Days. Okay, the Diggs pick. The Diggs pick, okay. Yeah. Don't send those. Yeah, we called it Guardian Pick, but I forget when we introduced that. I think that was when I played with UK people. Mm. But Guardian was a big s source yes. player at the time anyways, or previously. Yeah, his source team was pretty good. That was Reason. PHP. Yeah. Ooh. Who else was in there? Guardian was on Reason. Yeah. Before my time. It's cool. All right, well, 3v4. Number advantage for big. Krimbo with a bit of information off of Cat will be able to detect this towards lower dark if they're not careful. Leash out long, so you think you'd be mustering yourself up for a bit of an A split if you can. Which you can't. Oh, he's handled that so comfortably. Times that re-aggress with the utility, catches him in transition. So very comfortable for alive for big as they make this a 4-0. Complexity, yeah, does too. As a third, it does seem like it's in the wheelhouse of big. Have you guys been establishing the ramifications of losing this game? I discussed the head-to-head. -head. It, it really sucks. You go down into a uh, last chance stage or lower bracket or whatever you want to call it. This is a... I, I've, I've had this conversation with Alex before, Josh. I'd be interested to get your opinion on this. Uh, obviously, Dust2, you know, mm. not getting... Oh, hold up. 
Crimbo. There you go. Long removed. Now it'll all just be through cat. They can funnel the Yuto. On rifle rounds, not getting long spawns. Removing that opportunity for you to call on the T side. Obviously, there's more options than just going out long. But I feel it to not even be able to make that call on a rifle round, it hurts you so much. Like, it's a threat just gone. Oh, two on two. We got around. round. Elise rifle is paying dividends. Oh, he goes down. That was a real opportunity. And Floppy not able to do much with the Tech-9. Big, keep it going. A couple of nice shots hit, but still not enough to put it across the line. Elise did everything within his power. Uh, I'll let someone smarter than me kind of figure that out, well, though. Well, in Source, it used to be like every four or five spawns or something like that, yep. that it would repeat. Yeah. I, definitely not like that in CS. I do no. think having not having that option. Oh, early aggression solo. Wow. And he wins it. Huge. There's no follow up. No second player. No one in lower B either. That's massive. That was a pretty crazy push. Now okay, they have the entire go. map. Yeah, just, they got the whole round map. defining. You're just completely boxed in long, and you don't want to go back. Well, and so. if you go wait much longer, if you do want to go back, you're going to end up with Rigon locking the door behind you. So AKs and ops, but I see three HE grenades ready to break the smoke consecutively. One more re-smoke for that cross. Actually, there's two. One on Liege, one on Halzerk. Doing a good job of waiting out the time. They're going to use a re-smoke, just waiting out all these nades that are breaking the smokes first. Oh my god. Before they commit to the cross here. Still a winnable round for complexity. Yes, it's going to be, you know, four defenders right here. CT side players, but you have this many AKs shooting back. Oh, wow. It's just fallen beautifully into place for big. Elisha's up. A thousand different players in staring at him as he does try and mantle in. And the rig on Hello. the flank. He has just completely owned the mid Swing. Get an active. Swang! Yeah, active indeed. I mean, for to have your Bianca take such an early fight, it's a risk. A massive risk. But it results in a nice and uh, a rather brutal situation for complexity. Yeah, rig on. His aggression towards B was the only real kind of time we've mentioned that side of the map. Oh dear. And uh, a boost perfectly placed. You better jiggle as well. Uh, yeah. Did the Xbox went miss? It does look like it's not in the right place. Yeah, which is very the fortunate time. that uh, Sirison doesn't get that initial kill on the boost. So Complexity should be counting their lucky star. Oh. Oh, 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 oh I see what you did there. Thank you. Oh, that's a follow-up leg shot as well. That need. Oh, it hits him. 10 Just damage. Took him down to 12 HP. Quick maths. Wow. Incredible, Josh. That's the Canadian education system in work. Yeah. Oh, my math skills have nothing to do with uh, the British education system so much as it does my uh, my brain. Okay, fair yeah. play. It's just me. I take full responsibility for that one. JDC. Sniped. Yeah, he hits the tip of the head. Gives uh, Elise an involuntary haircut. Look at the confidence on the big players, though. Hello. Just not afraid to take duel after duel after duel. They Reed go for more. That's crazy, yo. He actually does a that. lot of damage, and yep, lines this. up nicely. So uh, for those people who tuned in earlier today, several hours ago now because of the length of the series, Yukinda was obviously casting all of the VP uh, game to kick off things against Falcons. He's uh, he's scrolling through the YouTube. Oh, he's the in-game leader. He's, he's driving. Everyone uh, else okay. is shooting from the windows. Yeah, and he has got bop, 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 500 damage in yeah, one Yeah, you gotta kill. keep the car steady, though, if you want people to be able to hit their shots. Yeah, that's why he's not shooting. He's driving. Yeah. And? And now he's Here shooting. Here we are. Here we are. Solid. Crimbo and Tapsing regain long control. Does seem like Cole have just relentlessly tried to go long, and it hasn't worked once. There are other parts of the map, as Josh was saying. And maybe we get to see a bit of action in mid, but Searson's going to be oh, set up for success. Lovely, That's that? a great shadow advantage. Profits from it. Halzak's hit some significant damage onto Rigon, but he's going to get hunted down. They're just very ready to fight. Nice this shot is... from JDC. It might be getting a bit hot in here. Maybe they should turn the air conditioner on. Yeah, no, I think you're right. I think the temperature's changed. It's gone wrong. Incendiary forces the liege back behind the doors. A bit of a premature nade there. And a prod into middle. The first time from Complexity in, what, 11 rounds? Yeah, first look at this. See how they're able to utilize this space. Hopefully not just an ending through middle. That's way too telegraphed. Let's get all the big players to come towards this location. JDC. Oh, nasty with it. There's just a lot of great trade potential as well in for yep. big setup. Uh, look at the Crimbo long push. It might be a little bit Whoa. too late. 
Rigon's under pressure. Mid to B split coming in. Here comes Crimbo top middle on the flank. Spots one and deletes. Knows another is out middle. Now they can turn their attentions towards B. Rigon's staying alive. This is nice. Molly should have him in. Look at that health. First opportunity for Cole. Combined 35 HP for Complexity, but a fast flank. Crimbo making a lot of noise in the tunnel, though. Flash from Sirison. Comes over the tunnels. A perfect timing here. A good skill is going to come out. Oh, he's so blind, but still put, manages to convert. Finds the head of Crimbo, traded now by Tamsin Grimm with just 12 points of health. He's going to have to play this one perfectly, and he has. Both solo. Gets the kill and dips away. Slips behind the door. Searson's going to go for oh, a no full committed defuse, and he's just a free frag for Grimm. A massive clutch to pull the first and only complexity round in our 11th of our third here. This is getting a little alarming, but something is better than nothing, I think is how the saying goes. First of all, you have the rounds to play with, take some risks, and secondly, this is what got you into the position, so continue it. They missed the Xbox Funk again. And lost hey. the player because of it. What's going on today? Um, Maybe I don't they're... know. Who gets... See, if you're a coach or an IGL, like, how do you find players for this? Well, Swisher you? said in their team they have a spreadsheet and every missed smoke is worth a dollar. One dollar. Well, okay. And Can it you goes scale into like that a team to like what, a thousand? It, well, I, depending on who you are, maybe for Team Falcons. Oh, second one. It's a flash. Flash. It's a good flash. It's resulted in a dead JDC. So many wall shots from Sirison right now. Two on three. Oh, gets away Ow. with it. Just about floppy with 17 points of health. Uh, that's just a fireworks. Okay, yeah, well, it, it did detonate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tabson from long could just win the round. They don't need to secure this long line. They just need a plant for short. Keep this angle. Noted in pit. It's so uncomfortable. Like they have to keep searching. Oh, Rigon. Rigon's got this little Beautiful. gap. No one's ready. And a clean double. Just like that, the half comes to a close. We have only been here for 20 minutes. And Big Clan, they are just two rounds away from taking the series. This is a fake, huh? So there's two smokes invested into it. They, they want to draw the mid player so they can try and go either cat or... I think they still want to go mid to B with it. I don't know. What? It's not the start that. <laughs> the <laughs> hell's of rage. Jesus. The hell's. We, we need the replay on that one. Yeah. Oh my god. That was sorry. Jesus. Jesus. That wasn't was replay. Yeah. Cosplay. I was doing some yeah, cosplay. Oh, oh no. It's, good it's all like this. Oh so well. Hang on. Alish could do some sh Wait. sharp shooting. Okay. He's made it interesting. Okay. Hang on. We're back. See, all you needed was a little defibrillation. That's what the holes are explaining. Oh, oh Never mama mind. Sita, that's a bang. Oh! Jesus. My dual Berettas do not work like that. Yeah, but you're not serious on a dust too, Alex. Subscribe to ESLCS right now. Unless we get like a mid-round lull before the GG of a 13 to 1 scoreline. Just the run, Germans it, run it now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We don't have to watch it's going to be better round. than whatever is going on here. Well, Complexity did play the third map. That I can confirm. Yep. Floppy might even extend a little bit. One's not enough. They were connected to the server. It's and not... now their heads are disconnected from their bodies. <laughs> it's not gone well, that's no, for sure. So Grim, I know where you are. Oh, imagine. <laughs> I think that was a Valorant line I just used. Uh-oh. He knows where you are. Is that a Valorant line? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, I know exactly where you are. Cypher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Cypher. I know exactly where you are. Ah, As he throws that hat exactly. on them. Yeah. yeah yep, yep, bad. yep. You're right. Should we just let the round do its thing? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. Okay. Oh, Josh, you want to do some play-by-play? -play? Uh, play by play Play-by-play? Oh, well, it's a little too late for that, I think. <laughs> JT. <laughs> Nothing more. 13 on the board. Big Clan have made this look very, very easy. Complexity, not sure what was going on today. In fact, across the series, it was looking much more competitive than this third and final map. Dust 2.